Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. Hopefully it's a happy Monday. <laughs> uh, welcome to Meditation and Musings. Um, so we are back today. Today what I wanted to do was I wanted to focus on calm, grounding the energy. Um, it's raining outside and it's raining quite strongly here so hopefully you'll be able to hear me properly. Um, but the last month has been, it's been a bit of a like, woo, like a whole full on roller coaster. Uh, and I have to be honest with you, initially I thought it was just me. I was like, what's going on? What's going on in my life? Um, and I couldn't get a handle on it. And then like the more vulnerable we are, the more we open up to other people, we realize that we're not the only ones. So um, yeah, so basically like everybody's having this big shift at the moment. I feel, um, I feel a lot of people are having it in terms of their spirituality and their beliefs and um, centered around kind of like their freedom and their liberation and all those areas. And I suppose it's not really a big coincidence because Saturn has moved into Pisces, which we knew was going to happen last month as well. And Saturn is all about hard work. It is all about putting the work in and getting what you've worked on. Um, and it's also in the sign of Pisces and Sp Pisces is all to do with our spirituality. It's to do with our, um, our connection to the divine, to God, our oneness, our connection to everything as it exists in our world. And so Saturn is kind of like nearly manifesting in real time what it is that we're focusing on. And with Pisces energy can comes a lot of kind of like nebulousness, you know, um, it can create a lot of like delusion and illusion and idealism. And um, so with that might come a little bit of doubt in yourself. So when we have this kind of energy and again, as I said, I, I feel um, initially I felt that it was just me, but actually I can see in the entrepreneurial world, a lot of people who are in the spiritual entrepreneurial world are getting their backside kicked at the moment <laughs> in terms of like what do you believe what are your goals what are your um what are your own ideals and how do you want to live them in alignment with who you are and so yeah so that's the energy at the moment this is going to spread across all different parts of our lives and it's going to affect different people differently and um, so where are you finding the most challenge in your life at the moment where are you finding that you're being made to look at and question the most? Where do you feel that you're uh, in integrity or out of integrity as well? And these are all things that we can look at. And the really important thing is to, um, while you're going through that patch, is to try and stay as grounded as you can possible so that you're not so much up in your head, the mental focus of things, because when we're going through these life shifts and we're all going through these life shifts at the moment, but when we're going through them, it can be tempting to like stay up in the head and like problem solve them to within an inch of your life. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? I'm a Virgo. So Virgos have really, really busy minds. Um, and because when you've got a busy mind, it affects the nervous system, it affects digestion and sleep and the whole lot. And um, it's really just to know that when you're up in your head, what you need to do is actually ground the energy like a lightning rod. You know, if there's a lightning rod here and lightning strikes it, it goes down through the rod and down into the ground. So what we want to be is like a human lightning rod so that the energy is not just kind of buzzing around up here and causing mayhem and chaos and stress and anxiety and overwhelm and digestive issues and headaches and migraines and all the things, right? So we want to ground that energy and help you come back into your body a little bit more because when your energy is grounded and when you come back into your body just that little bit more, um, it means that you can process the information. It means that you can handle the information. It means that you're not knocked off your perch as uh, easily as you would have been. If you're up in your head, where is your point of center? Where is your attention? Where is your focus? It's here. If somebody knocks you, you're just going to topple over. If your point of center is here in your heart space and it's grounded down into the ground, then when life happens and stuff is thrown at you, you're not as easily knocked over because you have a stable base, you have a stable core. And this is an energetic thing as well as a physical thing, you know. Um, 
so that's kind of what i'm saying at the moment if you're struggling a little bit and um, struggle no more <laughs> use this meditation and play it like save it and play it over and over and over again this week however however often you need it so that you can come back into balance um, I'm actually also starting a new seven day crisis to calm challenge today for anybody who's interested. It'll be starting at seven o'clock tonight. You'll be in a telegram group with moi uh, for the week doing the seven days. What is it about? The seven day challenge is something that I use on myself when things go a little bit like woo. Um, and I use it as a way of bringing myself back into balance, bringing myself back into center and basically calming the shit down right um because when we're chaotic up here our external environment is just going to keep mirroring that you want to come back into balance and you want to um you want to create a stable energetic base in yourself so that you're not thrown off balance as easily so anybody who's interested that crisis to calm i'm starting it tonight drop me a dm if you want to place on it um and basically yeah we're going to be working with sleep drink so sleep, drink, food, and routine. That's basically what we're doing. We're not, we're literally for the week getting rid of everything. Vision boards, mantras, affirmations, gratitude, journaling, throw it all out the window for one week. That's what we're doing. Um, and basically what that does is it means you stop trying to fix yourself. You throw it all away, leave it down, drop the bags, stop trying to fix yourself for just one week, for seven days, step back, let it go and the idea is actually to do less but to do it with structure so the idea of the seven day challenge is that we get your food back into routine so you're eating at the same time every day roughly around the same time every day and you're basically eating like food that you would have eaten as a kid nourishing traditional easy to do food something that has a resonance for you that brings you home to when you were a kid and you felt safe and secure hopefully you felt safe and secure as a kid um this, that's the food side it's a little bit like when kiddies are throwing a tantrum an absolute tantrum what do they need they need boundaries they need stability they need structure they need somewhere safe to land so the last thing you're going to do with a kitty who's like all over the place and losing the plot is give them loads of extra things to do they're going to be like no i'm not doing that so what the seven day crisis to calm challenge does is it literally throws everything away and brings you back to basics so what else would you do with a kid if you find that every day they're a bit cranky you'd start obviously feeding them roughly around the same time so that they know when they're being fed and they don't have to wor worry or think about where the next meal is coming from it's already planned it's there you put them to bed at the same time every night and you get them up. And even if they're tired for the first few days, you're gonna keep them up so that they fall asleep at the proper time when they're going to bed. This is huge. Most of us are working on either broken sleep, not enough sleep, or um, sleep that is irregular. So we're not going to bed at the same time every night. So all of this is gonna be so, 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 so helpful for you to bring you back into balance um and it's amazing what this can do the other thing that we work on is liquids water right so you're not drinking after a certain time you're drinking certain types of uh liquids we're going to kick caffeine for a few days i know don't panic um but all of this um doing this as a process as well getting this into routine i'm terrible i don't have any water in my astrological birth chart so for me drinking water is like really water exists um so we'll be doing that in the seven day challenge as well um and food water sleep and then just a routine where we're going to get a, a structure around everything so what this does is it brings you back to center it anchors into it anchors you into a certain point it takes all the noise and chaos out of your world and it works with all the things that you do on a daily basis you're just tidying them up when everything is more tidied and more routined even if it's just for seven days, you are going to feel the difference in your body, mind, soul, the whole lot of it. And so for me personally, my life is like, woo, at the moment. So I need this for bringing myself into calm. So uh, as I said, if you're interested, it's 97 euros. You're with me for seven days live in Telegram, in a group with other like-minded people. You get um, a, a free ebook in that as well. And you get a Zoom call at the start of the week and a Zoom call at the end of the week. And we do some check-ins and there's a lot of accountability, keeping you going, motivated um, and basically any holistic tools that are needed in that time to help you navigate the ups and downs of this. 
And um, so just drop me a DM afterwards and I can send you a link. And yeah, that's you. You'll be all sorted. So meditation. What are we looking at today? Today we're just going to calm everything, ground it down and bring you back into centre. Um, we have on the 20th of April, we have a new moon solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. And Aries is all about um, confidence, courage, empowerment, taking leadership, um, pioneer, very pioneering energy. Uh, it's also about freedom, right? It's about freedom and independence. So this new moon solar eclipse that's happening in the sign of Aries is actually going to be very interesting because we've already had one new moon at zero degrees. There's 30 degrees in total at zero degrees. And this new moon is the second one this month is happening at the last degree. So the last degree is where things become exaggerated, heightened, big and intense. It tends to be where the sign is most acted out. So this uh, new moon solar eclipse is coming up on the 20th of April next week, I think, um, is going to be pushing you to look at your self-confidence, your courage, your independence, your freedom, your ability to take action and all these themes in your life where you're feeling like you're being challenged to step into your power and you don't know how or perhaps you're uh, needing the confidence and courage to do it. This is really, really going to push you a little bit more into that energy. So where you're feeling the new beginnings happening in your own life, you'll find that they're around the themes which are making you question this confidence and this courage that you have. Um, the thing is, we can battle it and we can stick our head in the sands or we can really uh, embrace it and use that energy. It's, you know, astrology is all about using the potential energy and it's different for everybody. So um, if you're interested, I will have a, a new moon meditation on the 20th, uh, on the 20th, on the, what date is it? It's the Monday before that. I'll put a post up beforehand, so just keep your eye out. But that'll be in Fur House Community Centre. Um, and I'll be doing that live in person. But of course, I will be on here as well. Um, so today's meditation, yeah, we're going to just find somewhere nice and comfortable to sit down. Um, find somewhere that you won't be disturbed. Grab a cushion and stick it under your bum or lie down somewhere. And obviously, if you're driving, don't close your eyes because that would be crazy. <laughs> um, and just find a space where you can come into balance. Just keep your, if your feet are on the floor, keep both feet on the floor. Don't have them crossed. If you're lying in a bed, keep your legs straight. And if you're sitting, just keep your hands on either knee. And you can close your eyes when you feel comfortable to do so. And just notice the stillness in the room around you or find the stillness in the room around you. And when you find the stillness in the room, just take a deep breath in through your nose and just let out a big sigh, release that energy. And again, just find some moments of stillness and silence in the room surrounding you. And just feel the gratitude for that stillness and silence. Really feel the peace of it. And just allow yourself a few more deep inhales in through your nose and exhales to sigh. Just releasing that energy. And on each in exhale, allow your body to sink a little bit more and more into the ground. Just another one to look around or feel around your room, sense around your room. The calm. And when you've got it, just let out a big sigh. And when you're 
you're ready, we're going to chant the Om three times. So for anybody new that's joining, this might feel a little bit strange or weird, but the Om sound is actually amazing at helping to regulate the central nervous system. So when we're feeling stress and anxiety, when we're feeling overwhelmed or ungrounded, busy in our heads, our nervous system is affected and can feel like it's on high alert or like it's in fight or flight or freeze or fawn mode. Perhaps you feel like you're procrastinating or perhaps you feel like you're constantly active. Doing the arm is going to help you to come back into balance. You're going to feel the vibration of that arm in your body. Sometimes you'll feel it, sometimes you won't. You need to practice this to be able to feel it. And when you do, it's going to just send a vibration down in through your body and also through the nervous system, through the vagus nerve, which will help to just regulate it and send it soothing vibrations of peace and calm. So in a moment, we're going to take three separate breaths. So the, you're going to inhale through your nose and then on the exhale, you're going to chant the Aum and then release and then inhale, chant the Aum and release, inhale, chant the Aum and release. And as you're doing this, I just want you to focus on the sound of the arm, the feel of the arm and how it feels in your body. So when you're ready, take a nice deep breath all the way in through your nose. Just relax. Become aware of the space and stillness around you and in your body for just a few moments. When you're ready, I want you to imagine above your head a beautiful ball of gold and silver light. This beautiful ball of energy is strengthening, calming, soothing, healing energy. And with it, we're going to bring into our body the courage and confidence that we seek, whether it's in making decisions, whether it's in taking a step back, whether it's in taking the action to do something or taking inaction to step back and do nothing. We're going to bring that energy into our body. So just above your head, allow that ball of gold and silver light to just expand and grow. Allow it to get so big now that the energy is pouring in and down in through your scalp. Feeling that energy soothe and relax all the little muscles in and around the scalp area. Allowing that energy to wash over you and just move further down into your forehead. 
becoming aware of all the little muscles in and around the forehead area and just allowing any muscles in that area to just relax and relax and relax a little bit more. Feel into, are you holding a frown? Are your eyebrows holding tension? Just allow that energy to just see how much you can let go. Allowing that energy to continue moving down now into your eyes. Down in and around the eye area, bringing in calm and peace. Allowing all those little muscles in and around the eye area to just relax, release and let go. And allowing that energy to continue moving down now into the cheeks. All the way down into the jaws, in and around the jaws and allow that energy Seek out and find any areas of tension in and around the jaws. Allow that energy to just relax, release and let go of any tensions there as much as you can. And any tension that we hold in and around the jaws, we tend to hold in and around the hips and pelvis. So really taking a moment here to allow that energy to just permeate in and around the jaw area, relaxing, releasing and letting go of any tensions. Allowing that energy to continue moving down now, down into your throat, down into your neck and all the muscles in and around this area, relaxing, releasing and letting go. Allowing that energy to continue moving down now, down into your shoulders and down into your shoulder blades. Taking a breath here and just like exhaling and sighing and letting go of any tensions in this area. Allow that energy to release and let go. Allow that beautiful healing energy to continue moving down your arms. All the way down your forearms, into your wrists, down to your hands and all the way down to the tips of your fingers. Allowing that warm healing energy to soothe and calm all the way down to the tips of your fingers. And you might even become aware of any tingling or heating sensations in and around the hands or the fingers and that's completely natural and normal. That is your energy. Bring back up the arms and allowing that energy to continue moving down now, down into your chest and lungs, your heart and your back. Allowing that energy to just fill up that space, washing its way down in and around the lungs and heart, the chest and back. Becoming aware of any tension in and around this area and just relaxing, releasing and letting it go as much as you can. See if you can let go just a little bit more. Allowing all that energy to just fall to the ground, the weight of your body sinking into the ground as you relax more and more. Allowing that energy with every beat of your heart and every breath that you take, allow that healing, strengthening, nourishing energy to just Flow out into all the cells in your body with every breath that you take and every beat of your heart. Feel it moving out into your body, bringing courage and strength and confidence, feeling into your energy field for every little bit of calm and strength, stability, peace. When you're ready, just allow that energy to continue moving down now, down into your stomach. And I want you to imagine a beautiful ball of orange and yellow light 
in the center of your stomach. And when you've got that, just imagine that the light is getting stronger. You're turning up the volume, the intensity, the color, the feeling of that energy. Turning it up a little bit louder, a little bit brighter, a little bit stronger. Taking a breath down into the stomach area and allowing that energy on the exhale to just expand and grow more and more. This energy is filled with courage, confidence, an inner knowing that you are exactly as you are meant to be. That no matter what's happening in your external surroundings, that inside at the core of who you are, you are exactly in your life where you are meant to be. And allowing your heart to open with that knowledge just a little bit. Feeling the confidence radiate into your body. This inner knowingness that whatever is happening around you, whatever your external environment is communicating to you, inside, you know that you are exactly where you need to be. And you're open to receiving guidance and answers on your next step. Releasing and letting go of the need to know everything and surrendering into just being open to receiving guidance on the next step. Trusting in a power bigger than you to know the plan more than you do and surrendering into the energy of allowing, stepping back out of chaos and surrendering into allowing. And as you do this, just imagine that that ball of gold and yellow light is expanding bigger and bigger now. It's almost surrounding your entire body. Imagine it growing bigger and bigger and bigger and surrounding your entire body with this confidence and knowing that beneath everything you are, Exactly what you came here to be in this moment. There is nothing more that you need to do except to allow more of who you are to come through and allow more of who you are to shine. That is all that you're being asked to do. And have that inner knowing that that will happen the more you allow. And the more you accept this moment as it is. Really record that energy and then when you're ready, allow that energy to continue moving down now into your belly, feeling in and around the belly for any emotions or feelings which are no longer serving this highest good and greatest joy of your beingness. Releasing and let go, letting go of all those feelings in and around the belly area, which have been keeping you small. And allowing that energy to transform and release those feelings and emotions. Acknowledging this beautiful energy you're creating in your body from your core, radiating out around you, around your body, around your energy field. And allow that energy to continue moving down from your belly now, down into your hips, your pelvis and groin. Allow that energy to continue moving down your legs, all the way down into your knees and then around your knees, letting go of any areas of tension. Keeping that moving energy moving down your calves, into your thighs, down into your calves, down into your ankles and feet. And at the bottom of your feet, you're going to imagine a network of roots and lights. And from the base of your body, the same roots and lights leaving the base of your body and the base of your feet, stretching down into the ground. Finding the ground below you, breaking through. 
stretching those roots and lights down into the earth, pushing their way down through all the layers of the earth, all the way down, feeling the coolness of the ground, the damp of the ground, the stillness of the ground, pushing through all those layers of earth, really anchoring you in. When you get to the center of the earth, you're going to see this beautiful ball of crystalline energy and it's healing, calming, grounding, soothing, transformative energy. And you're going to wrap that root and light system around that ball of energy and absorb that cooling, grounding, healing, transformative energy all the way up through that root system, moving all the way up through all the layers of the earth, through all the layers all the way up through the ground, up through the bottom of your feet, all the way up to the base of your body. That root system absorbing that energy, cooling, grounding, light energy. Moving all the way up through your body and imagine that energy is now spreading out and around your body like a beautiful ball of light. Mixing with that other colour that you created just a few moments ago, the, the orange and the yellow. And allow this crystalline bubble of energy to mix with that. Bringing grounding, cooling peace and transforming that intense energy into something that's constructive and easy to work with, easy to use. Focusing only on the next step. What is my next step? And letting go of attachment to how it needs to be, expectations of how it should look. Whatever area of your life that you need to take momentum and take action in, you're just going to allow that information, wisdom and guidance to come into your body today. Just take a moment to sit in that energy. feeling the groundedness of it. And in a few moments, we're going to take the final three deep breaths to ground this meditation in and bring you back into center. When you're ready, take a nice deep breath all the way in for about four or five seconds. Hold for three, exhale for six, hold for three, inhale for four, hold for three, exhaling through your mouth for six, Hold for three. And your last inhale in for four. Hold for three. And finally letting go for six. And just take a few more moments of silence here before we come back. into the calm, the peace, and yet the courage and confidence. Feel into the allowing and the receptivity of allowing. And when you're ready, just bring your two hands together in front of your chest, drop your head, and allow your, your eyes to open as you gently look at the floor and return to centre. I hope that you enjoyed the meditation. Do let me know in the comments below how you got on. I'd really appreciate it. Um, so allow that to be part of your practice for this week to perhaps just release and let go of the bigger picture 
of how everything needs to be and instead to just focus on the next step. Just the next step. And release and let go of all the expectation of all the, the guilt or shame or embarrassment or whatever it is that's happening for you about where you are in your life. Just let it go and literally just come back into the moment. You're so welcome, Susie. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Um, so that's my meditation for this week. As I said, um, if you're interested in joining the seven day crisis to calm, drop me a DM. But I am going to do an oracle poll. So guys, which one do you want? Do you want the sacred forest or do you want wisdom of the oracle? Which one do you want? Do tell me because I love to be able to give you the opportunity. I'll pull the cards, you pick them. Just taking a moment to see the messages can take a few moments to come up. And as I'm waiting for your divine guidance on which one you want. Wisdom. Susie, you came in first, so I'll pull one of the wisdom of the oracle. Um, so what I would say is in the energy that you've just been sitting in in your meditation, enjoy it. Try and stay in it. Or rather, not try and stay in it because trying is, that is for somebody, um, because trying is like using energy that's not going to get you anywhere. So what you want to do is just sit in the energy that you have and try and keep that peace, really. And what I would say is to hold in your heart a question that you would love to have guidance on, an area of life that you'd like to have guidance on, or an answer or something that you need today. And again, come back to the center, you know, forget the big pictures, just even for today, what is it that you need to know for today? And then this is for you. I also had another card fall out there, so I will read that one as well because that's usually going to be for somebody specific. So what have we got? Message in a bottle. Number 15. So, message in a bottle. What have we got today? Oh, here, it's so funny. I literally opened it up on the correct page as well. So this is going to be, I feel like this is really going to be a really strong message for somebody. Um, message in a bottle. The essential meaning. Communication, a sign, a cleden, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. The oracle's message, spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe that you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Just keep your ears open for someone might just say the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you. I'm actually going to read the next two because I don't normally read them. And for some reason, they're just absolutely standing out on the page. So relationship uh, message is for anybody who's in relationships or wanting relationships that's connected to this. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call or email. You're the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come from it in the end. The signs are all there. And last but not least, prosperity message. You are on target with your purpose and passion. You're coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity or message from an old friend or business contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. So essentially a message is on the way. And I'd love to know, let me know. Does that sound familiar? Does it sound like it's you? And obviously if it happens, do let me know. I love to hear how these uh, Oracle cards 
um, work for people afterwards. The card that jumped out is this one and it's called, so this will be for somebody specific uh, watching this. So it's called Orphaned and it is number five. So either the number or the card will resonate with somebody specific. So number five. The essential meaning is a sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in and the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. I feel like this is huge. This is happening for a lot of people at the moment. The Oracle's message. We were all meant to have connections with other people within our families, society, and the larger culture. No man is an island, and it's important to recognize when being a part of, rather than separate from, is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way that you did before and need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like-minded and spiritual keep. It's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. This is like, I love this actually as well. And I feel almost like um, that this also resonated for me because I've been having totally identity crisis over the last couple of weeks. And I decided the other day, I was like, do you know what? One of the things that I love to do is journal. Um, and I find so much peace in that as well. And what I decided to do was create a blog, which is basically a diary, not a diary as such, but um, I have it down as diary of an imperfect soul because I want to show my own journey, like the human part behind um, the work that I do as well. And interestingly, I feel like um, part of why I've been not been able to show up the way I've wanted to at times is because I'm multifaceted. I'm one of these multi, multi potentialites. I have like loads of interests, loads of fingers in different pies. Um, and it's very hard to pigeonhole that and kind of put it into one place and make it one thing. Um, so it gets very frustrating to try and like be one thing instead of being like lots of different things. So I decided to create this blog, which is in essence going to allow me to like be all the things, talk about all the things I want to talk about. Um, so if there's something in your life where you feel like you don't fit in or that you're different or that there's lots of different parts of you that don't fit into one particular shape. Have a look at the concept of maybe it's OK to be different. And also maybe you are several different things. You know, this world is determined to make us fit into one space, but maybe you're all the spaces in some way, shape or form. And to just allow that to kind of sit with you as well. So. I hope that you have a lovely week, guys. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I shall see you Monday next week for another Monday Meditation and Musings live here on Instagram. Um, I will be releasing my blog this week. I'm very excited about that. Um, so if you're not on my subscription for newsletter, head over to my website, DeborahJKelly.com. You can download a free Crisis to Calm tracker and then um, your email will go into um, my newsletter as well. And as I said, anybody who's interested in joining my Crisis to Calm, it starts today, tonight at seven o'clock um, on Zoom and just send me, the, send me a message and I'll send you the details. Outside of that, have an amazing week and I shall see you all next week. See you later, guys. Bye.